Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Thomas. Um, I am a first year graduate student here at Texas A&M University. And just a little bit about me is that I graduated last year in May of 2023 with an Ag Communications and Journalism degree with hopes of obtaining my master's in agricultural development. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, my career goals kind of had different plans and I actually ended up moving back home to become an agriculture science teacher and FFA advisor at my home chapter. So that's kind of where I'm at now while still getting my master's all online. Um, I am excited about this class. I'm excited to keep continuing to take classes for my master's. I have taken Dr. Nelson's classes last semester, so I'm very excited to get to do it this semester again. Um, just to jump into the first question, what experience do you have with this course topic? As I said, I am an ag teacher and I deal with youth on a regular basis. So um, I kind of have some idea of what this course will cover. And I have real world experiences to what the course is gonna cover. And I also grew up in <clears throat> youth development programs such as 4-H, FFA, NHS, all of that stuff. So it's good to kind of relate my experiences with those programs into what I am now as leading those programs and as um, kind of growing my skill set on that. And then this course obviously relates to my career goals and my career in general. Since I am an ag teacher, I'm around youth all the time and I want youth to succeed. And that's honestly why I chose to be an agriculture science teacher. So I want to see kids succeed. And I think that this class will help uh, develop those skills to ensure that they do succeed in the future. Um, if someone was coming to visit my hometown, my hometown is, is in Raymondville, Texas, but I kind of consider the Rio Grande Valley my hometown because it's so small. If you don't know where the Rio Grande Valley is, it's at the very bottom tip of Texas uh, on the Mexico border. Um, it's kind of uh, involved in about three to four counties. Um, if you're going there, I'd highly suggest you going to South Padre Island go to the beach and hang out there. It's a really good time. Um, get yourself some good Mexican food. Get some Delia's tamales. They're the most famous tamales in the world. Um, go see the border wall. Go see all of the crops. Go to a stock show. Anything like that. You'll get the whole valley experience. And if you ever do go to the valley, valley people are very different. We're all uh, very communicative and uh, love to uh, tell you how much we love the valley. So um, if you do go to the valley, it's a very good experience for you. Um, what my biggest fear is or hope about engaging in online classes is my one fear that I do have in online classes, which I think they're great. And I think that it's awesome that we can all be in different parts of the world and still be learning the same thing. Um, my biggest fear is that I will not see an email or not understand a topic and then I'm kind of behind or didn't turn anything in on time but I know that this professor does a great job of working with people and he kind of helps with those fears so if y'all are first one to come to his class this is a great class for you. Um, two skills that I bring to a group project. I really do like group projects. I think group projects are a great uh, way to like kind of collaborate with your peers. Um, the two skills that I'm very good at is I'm really good at leadership, kind of getting the conversation going, and I am very organized, so I'll have everything organized before we meet, so that way when we meet, it's a kind of a smooth process. And then a healthy hobby that I enjoy is I enjoy going on walks kind of just to clear my head, and um, I get really stressed out and busy all the time, so it gives me a good opportunity to just clear my mind and be ready for the next day and kind of collect my thoughts. But um, that's just a little bit about me. Uh, this semester is gonna be kind of crazy since I am in stock show mode. So um, I am looking forward to this class and I'm looking forward to um, meeting everyone and seeing what everyone else is up to this semester also. Bye.